Hi Standard One, how are you? Welcome back to our online lesson. So for today's lesson, have you read our lesson objective? Do you know what we are going to do today? Okay, so for today's online lesson, you are going to create an artwork which consists of the fur or feathers of an animal. Okay. So for this term, I'm going to teach you how to create more details into your artwork. Right, we will start with a very easy animal first. Okay, it's your favorite food. You like to eat it? Can you guess what is it? It's a chicken. Okay, how are we going to draw a chicken? You can draw a chicken with the correct technique. Okay. All right, you're going to use your your palm, the palm of your hand or your hand, okay, and also your crayon or your pencil colors. But I prefer it if you use your crayon. It will look so much better later. Okay, let's start. Right, paper, your hand, okay, put your hand like this. Okay. You can do it in portrait form or landscape form. This is portrait form, this is landscape form. But I am going to use landscape form to provide more space for me. Okay, so put your hand like this, right? Give some space to this bottom over here later. That is where you're going to draw the, the legs of your chicken. Okay, and this should be the feathers. And the tail of your chicken these four fingers one two three four and this will be the head of your chicken okay spread it apart from the rest of the four fingers use your pencil if you are not confident or if you are confident enough then you can use your crayon all right okay so I'm going to use my crayon first any colors all right I'm going to do a light shade over here okay draw lightly right, there you go all the way okay okay until the end okay if you see over here you still have some empty uh, lines over here you connect those two lines like this okay and draw your chicken's leg okay one leg, two legs. Yeah. Okay, now this is the head of your chicken. Draw the the beak. Okay. Chicken's beak. Oh. Okay. And then the eyes okay. All right you want it to be a rooster or a hen that is up to you so let's say you want it to look like a very beautiful rooster then you can draw the the comb over here your chicken comb all right there you go that's your chicken okay all right now let's move to the body I'm going to also teach you how to transition the colors later, right? So, I am going to use uh, purple. I will also be using orange or light, uh, dark yellow. Okay, I really like these two colors. And I will be using green also. Okay. Alright, so let's start. Um, Oh yeah, I found another uh, orange over here. It looks so much nicer. Okay, right. So I'm going to start with the the body of the chicken first. I'm going to I'm going to color with um, purple. All right. Okay. So now let's transition the color from purple to dark yellow all right just rub it on okay 
on the 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 or purple color and you can see the color is transitioning nicely from purple to orange or dark yellow see it's really nice right you can rub it all the way in okay just like this okay color the whole body with your favorite color right okay there you go okay we'll come back to this one later now let's move to the tail I'm going to use this orange okay transition and blend the color oops from orange to okay, okay now let's do the beautiful feather and the tail all right okay so we use a dark green color you can use any different color that is contrastive to the color of the background okay if you are using cool color for the background then you use warm color for the feather or the, the, the outlines all right okay do you still remember what is warm color and cool color okay let's start i'm going to use green so what i'm going to do is that um i will draw some lines like this over here okay you can't really see it if you can't see it then you can um do it one more time okay okay one more time Now, can you see it? Okay, all right. Use this. Uh, I'm going to use the same purple. So, I will be drawing and color over here. Make some round or circle here also. Okay. Can you see? Okay. Use the same green. Do some outlines like this. Okay. Okay. Right. If you want to uh, mix with other color, you can do that. Okay. Let's see what we have. Okay, I have a light green over here. I'm trying, try to see if I can mix it. Okay. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some textures on the chicken by using black crayon, okay? So just use the oval um, shape, okay? Half oval actually, right? For example, you can just draw like this half oval, long half oval to make it look like feathers. But you just arrange them randomly. Don't make it line up um, too neatly. 
okay so for example if this tree is like this and then you can do the bottom one in different lines or formation okay okay like this All right so it as it goes further towards the body of the chicken make it look bigger okay draw bigger like this right follow the shape of the chicken's body there you go yeah okay all right now So that is your chicken. What else do you want to add? You want to add more details over here. Then you can use maybe you want to use different colors, okay? To make it look more colorful and striking. Like a very beautiful um, rooster, okay? Alright. Then what else can you include over here? You can you include some chicks? Um, shadows okay shadows of the chicken for example my fingers are very dirty so i'm going to use this um, to make some shadows okay the ground over here right put some shadows okay hmm. Okay, standard one. I hope you can try this at home and um, if you have any questions, you can ask me through the Microsoft team. Um, uh, I hope you can finish it and then upload it to the assignment tab by next week. Okay, by next Tuesday. Okay, see you next week. Bye.